Hey there friends, how's it going? Today we're doing something a little bit different. You see, when I play City Skylines, I'm kind of a disaster myself, but I thought I'd up the ante this time and trigger a disaster every 15 minutes. Whether it be a fire, a tsunami, or a meteor, we're gonna use this special wheel to judge the severity. And I basically have to make sure the city survives throughout all of this. It's gonna force me to use all two of my brain cells at the same time. This is gonna be the absolute fastest I have ever played this game. <laughs> I'm working on two like little the hubs here so that I don't have to destroy everything if I get a really bad roll. I'm gonna make industry like, uh, I don't know, off on its own peninsula over here. The pollution peninsula, we'll call it, right here. <laughs> yeah, right next to the water. That's a great idea that's not gonna bite me in the ass. Come on, build faster. You have to be like a proper social hub. I need some cannon fodder here that I can throw disasters at. Oh my god, I'm earning money and people are happy already. <laughs> in before, this is the most successful city I've ever had. <laughs> because after all, the number one disaster is me. I don't know why, but I just bought a coal plant and instead of putting it on pollution peninsula I put it right in the town for some reason I, I don't know I panicked I'm not used to time pressure in this game speaking of which speed up come on you need to build and expand and pray you don't get a 10 on the wheelie board this is costing so much money to branch out like this it makes no sense there's definitely some money laundering going on here worthy village apparently I don't know I'm looking at pollution peninsula god that is a tongue twister why did I have to call it that but yeah it doesn't really look like a village it looks like a monstrosity okay firefighters probably a good idea we should get those we need a landfill like now where can i build this industry area uh can it even fit here yeah go for it oh man i'm running out of time and i don't feel like i've made enough progress <laughs> okay i'm spamming houses i need you all to build now roads and houses are going down <laughs> i'm gonna forget about the power and water issues okay come on come on move into the city move into the city <laughs> i hope i get a one or something so i can just land it over over here. What is even the first disaster going to be? A tornado. Fantastic. Okay, this is the most valuable road all of a sudden because we've got the public library, we've got the elementary school, the police station, and the clinic. I don't know why I laughed when I said elementary school. It would just be kind of funny if the tornado ripped through here immediately. All these people going about their days happy out, not knowing what I have in store for them because of my sick, twisted game I'm playing. We got two minutes, everyone. Two minutes. I feel like I'm on one of those reality shows that's like prepping for the last second. And I, I kind of am, I guess. Well, minus the reality show. So no, not really. Not at all, actually. But I mean, similar situation. Except thousands upon thousands of virtual lives will be lost. We just became a boom town, which is unfortunate phrasing, and also will probably be immediately reversed. I just built this part and forgot to give them water, so this, these people were just never given water. And one of them burnt down, funnily enough. Well, funnily to me, not to them. One more road before we have to launch something. Come on, I feel like I've done pretty well. Oh, there is the alarm, okay. Why isn't the local government doing anything to stop the fires? That's the least of your trouble, trust me. Okay, one through ten. Let's see how bad this natural in quote disaster is gonna be. We got a two! I'll take a two. That's not bad. Okay, so a two is like it's gotta cause some damage, but not too much. And I don't have too much impact with this one, so I kind of got screwed that it's a two now that I think about it. It would have been much better on, say, a sinkhole, <laughs> or I could just put it over here somewhere. But on this one, I just get to pick the entry point. So let's put it like, I don't know, here? That feels like a two to me. I just don't know where it's gonna go. <laughs> Hopefully it'll just come over here and blow away all the sewage. Look at the demand for residential. You know what? You may as well. The tornado's on the way. Come in here and give me money for property. Meteorologists have issued a severe tornado warning for the area. No, no, don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. Listen to me, the mayor. <laughs> they are actually listening. People are building as this tornado is coming in. And by the way, it completely ignored what I said was the entry point. It's going straight for the commercial district. I hope it doesn't go this way, because if it's going that way, isn't it? <laughs> That's my valuable street. This was meant to be a two, not a ten. Wait, it's actually just kind of chilling off the coast to heroic music, so maybe it's one of the good 
good guy is just gonna ignore it. I don't want to give it the attention it's looking for. Otherwise, the tornado wins. Yeah, it's, it's going away. Okay, that was a one <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that didn't even enter where I told it to. It exited where I asked it to enter. All it did is create some gentle winds and kill, I don't know, a few hundred people. I've put aside funding for a cemetery and everyone loved that. Okay, I think a, a fire station always a good investment for this city's future. And I've already realized my mistake with water, but my mind says it's too late to fix it now and we're just going with what we got, <laughs> which is sewage just pumping into the drinking water and piling up on the beaches. All right, I need a little bit more power, I think. Oh wait, no. I didn't. I just wasted money. It's just slightly unconnected. Ah, oh, for God's sake. I'm a responsible mayor, everyone, I swear. Put me in charge of your health and safety. Okay, I think it's time for, like, aggressive expansion. Like, real aggressive. Oh, man, this heroic music is really kicking in, and I feel like I'm really saving the town here from any potential disaster. <laughs> I'm the hero. I'm the hero. Although even though I'm a hero, in 11 minutes I'm bringing you guys an earthquake and I really hope it's not bad because I've been trying really hard here and it's somehow working so far. Like even under the best circumstances, I don't do well at this game. Uh, the heroic music can can stop now. People are dying of illness as well. That That is another side thing we got going on here. Who's playing that heroic music? Could you stop and help me? I have no money. Okay, I just need to wait a little bit. <laughs> Which is bad, because the, the clock is not my friend. Unfortunately, I think all their health and, you know, the fires and whatnot is mainly because of the industrial, but I felt I needed to have, like, patches of it everywhere in case one section of the map gets wiped out. Look, I'll give you, like, a small clinic Will that cheer you guys up over there? Beachfront property, which in this scenario is definitely not what you want. <laughs> but they don't know that. Those fools. <laughs> Look at them. Ah, <laughs> oh, idiots. Way, we're a busy town. The mayor is doing well leading this city. New citizens and businesses. Hey, wait, no, I want to read it if it's praising me. Come back. New citizens and businesses keep moving in. Hashtag flying colors. Thank you, Piper. Oh, wait, no. These are talking about the fire safety regulations. How do I make it go away? Okay, that's better. As mayor, can I make a law that says they can't bring me the bad news? They have to bring me the good news? I felt kind of dumb because I made like low density roads and it's going better than I expected. So now I was like, oh, I should have built higher density roads. So I, I said, oh, well, I'll start now. And I, I built this. <laughs> Graham Boulevard is a little bit pathetic. It's all disjointed because it's all bent around this corner. I'm a a little bit ashamed of Graham Boulevard buses. Oh no, that's a horrible idea. <laughs> no, we don't want any public transport links that can be broken. Everyone on the map is in danger of fire, apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that stat. Oh, look at this. People are being cared for, for the most part. Especially if I move the screen over here. Oh wait. There. Oh wait, hold on. That's not bad. Look at that. Oh, hold. Yep. There, look at that. Good news, the demand for residential is going through the roof. We're gonna need bigger roads with lots of the houses. The sun's just going right out onto the beach. <laughs> it's like an airport runway. I feel panic setting in and I, I don't want to check the time for when the next disaster is coming because I, I really feel under pressure to get things fixed and I'm panicking now and I don't even know where to put this. Uh, there. <laughs> I don't know what I just ruined. Not to worry, everything is going according to plan. I'll just... Oh no, the panic is setting in. Every time I go to do something new, I start to like panic a little bit. And now I'm just throwing down random roads and building commercial. What? Wait, no, that that's just like an extra earthquake. I don't deserve this. What? Oh, come on. We gotta take something off the, the wheel, whatever it gives me, right? This is a big central part of the map that's sinking. Okay, well, maybe I just built this part, so that's not the end of the world. But this, this was like one of my favorite spots in town. I was about to ask, where's the fire trucks? But I think the fire station is gone. Oh, an empire has fallen. <laughs> I'm cleaning up and there's just gonna be another one, man. This sucks. Oh my God, look at that. We've done it. We fixed- oh wait, no, hold on, we're not done. We've done it. We fixed- oh wait, no, hold on. Hold on, uh, what do I do with- no, you know what? I am just going to ignore that for now and just not show it on screen. Oh, there's fire there. Oh, there's people dying of thirst over here. Oh, this was just like me being forgetful. This has nothing to do with the earthquake. You know what? Not 
too bad. We're kind of recovered now. It, it is a bit frustrating having to repair everything and, you know, ruining my city that was going pretty well. But all things considered, it could have been worse. Oh no, there's the timer. <laughs> For some reason, I had just blocked out the fact that I, I need to call in another one. That was just a random occurrence. Well, I guess it's time to spin the wheel. I'm not too enthusiastic about this. <laughs> I got away with it for the first one, but now I feel like I'm getting karma. And it's a four. That's not great. Okay, I I'd say a, a 10 is like here, right in the middle, or maybe here. So I guess maybe something like this. <laughs> like it sucks, but it's not like the worst area. Oh no, my area. Oh man, it demolished the place. Okay, this was much worse than a four had to be. Oh, it gets rid of all the water infrastructure as well. Target is on fire. Okay, I can't put them out of their misery. I just gotta wait for them to burn. Okay, well, the timer started and uh, I have a lot to fix. I, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, we still are earning money. Maybe we can financially recover from this one. Okay, the water's okay. The power's kind of okay. The roads are definitely not okay. <laughs> can I just leave? level things off. Does that work? Okay, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but it doesn't look good. Like it's raising it, but it's kind of ruining it at the same time. Ah, you can just level. No, that's not how that works. Okay, how how does this work? I'm trying to level. Uh, stop it. Oh, so click secondary and then, ah, okay. It makes sense if you actually take the time to learn. <laughs> it's just not me, you know? <laughs> okay, no one can complain that I didn't at least try to fix things. <laughs> okay, everyone wants to come here. <laughs> They've seen how much effort I put into this town and they love me for it. Look at that demand for all the different types of housing. Everything in this town is a mess when it's stripped back to its basics. Like I just have everything everywhere. I'm putting industry like right on the beach. <laughs> I love the environment. If I didn't build this city in such a strange fashion, well, I guess I'd be missing a good chunk of it. But what I'm saying is people really want to live here. Like this city is actually pretty successful so far. Sorry, people who just got kicked out. <laughs> How is this becoming like one of my more successful cities? It doesn't make any sense given the circumstances. I think my effort of branching out is really working. I don't think you could destroy this city in one go, but maybe I'm tempting fate by even saying that out loud. Oh man, this beach is not looking good. It's not one I'd recommend you take your family to or anyone to really, unless they were like your worst enemy. And even then I'd say, oh, I don't know. Maybe think it through. Like, what are they angry about? D do they deserve this? level of treatment. It seems cruel and unusual. <laughs> oh, that looks so awful. Well, this is a pretty nasty streak, but we got a good streak of luck going, so that's something. I mean, like, uh, look, there's a lot of symbols there that give, like, cause for concern. But given the situation, not too bad. And people really want to move here. Like, I can't build fast enough. I'm almost a big town, and then I think I can get a new area, which I desperately need. I don't know why I always pump water from, like near where the sewage is. I don't know why this keeps happening. Like, clearly I should be pumping it here from the graveyard. Yes, I was right. <laughs> this upgraded us. Hashtag annex, <laughs> said one of the citizens. Okay, I guess this one probably has the most land. Yeah, I'll buy it. Oh my god, that's an expensive bridge. <laughs> okay, that'll have to do to get across. Oh, I hate that. It just didn't make sense to build it here with the roads. But then again, my roads don't make sense in general, so maybe I should have just gone ahead for the cheaper option, like always. Oh no, it's disaster time! I didn't even realize it was sneaking up on me like that. Okay, time to spin the wheel of misfortune. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, it's a seven. Well, that's bad, but I thought it was even an eight for a second. Oh, man. Somewhere really important has to get struck by a sinkhole. Fantastic. All right, where it has to go then? Okay, so I think, like, here is a ten. Like, maybe a, here is an eight. So I guess it'll sink, like, like here. That Like, that's pretty nasty. That That is... Yeah, that's awful. I'm doing it. Okay, I've clicked. I've decided. Well, call me a geologist because I saw this coming as well. Oh no, these people. I'm sorry. It was actually a relatively small one by chance. It just said screw you in particular and took them. <laughs> okay, that was actually fine given the scale. Like, you know, ripping everything. I'm just gonna cover you up though. You get a really cool grave site, I guess. But I do feel like I got away with murder, so I'm gonna hit the bridge that I just built just to, you know, add a little bit of insult to my injury here. Oh, here it goes. 
I don't know what this actually affects other than deleting half my bridge. Oh, that's a... It's quite a little wave there. I'm not sure how that's gonna impact the town. I'll ignore it for now. In fact, I won't just ignore it. I'll build over it. <laughs> that somehow worked. The middle section's a little bit raised because of it. God, I hope that crew got paid well, whoever went out to do that. I am really making the ugliest city ever, aren't I? It's like I'm going out of my way to do this, but I'm just trying to be practical given the situation. Okay, I really hope this recovery plan I've put into place actually works because I'm running out of money. <laughs> I do think they're building, but I, I would like them to build close so they'd connect without any cost to me, the mayor. New timer has begun. Uh, don't blame me that I put it on a bit late. It's just because of who I am as a person. I simply forgot. <laughs> okay, my plan is working as intended. We do have a trash problem that I can't seem to sort yet though. I need more money and just Dump the stuff on the beach down over here somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure there won't be any consequences to my actions. Oh, the streak is still going well, I see. You know, all things considered, I'm doing pretty well. I'm really happy with how this city is going. <laughs> like, normally I feel like I do much worse and that's with, you know, just me dealing with me. Like, to look at, it's not pretty. We'll give it that much. But if you look at it this way, it kind of looks like a, a dragon head or something with a, a logo streak coming out the back. I don't know, just try and imagine something that looks cool. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with the roads, man. I just, I hope it all works out, you know, for the good of the city. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, it's time for an incinerator because I love pollution. There we go. I don't even know where I built it. Okay, good. It's sort of in an industry area. <laughs> We're a small city. It's official. <laughs> all the bigger to be hit by whatever the hell is coming next. What is coming next? Oh, lightning storm. Okay, great. All right, I need more fire departments, I guess, then. I need 60 grand for a fire station. That might be a good investment, <laughs> especially this side who has no one. Or maybe it's better not to put all my eggs in one basket and get a few little fire stations so one there one there and maybe i don't know one here somewhere and one down here that way everyone's kind of covered maybe one more i ran out of money <laughs> oh well <laughs> that's all you're getting then for a cursed land it just has non-stop a row of people who want to come live here having said that i have dipped into the negative weekly income for the first time ever because I impulse pot like six fire stations. Okay, not to worry, I'm earning 50 bucks an hour now <laughs> as a city. Luckily, I sold some land to some suckers who moved in without any water. <laughs> yes, okay, I did it. <laughs> we're held together by duct tape, but we're held together. I've never seen a city run paycheck to paycheck quite like this. <laughs> Every time I get any bit of money, I'm just expanding aggressively. <laughs> like really start looking down the sofas at this point, everyone. We need every penny we can get. Yes, but look, it's working. We're getting back up to a, a nice positive income here. Unfortunately for the city, we're not getting a fantastic outcome with what we've built. Oh, I had a water tower just not connected to anything anymore. <laughs> so I have this brilliant idea that we can have a bypass that just goes right by the sewage treatment plants so that people can just drive straight into the city and drive to the good place instead of looking at this crap. Why is no one taking the road? <laughs> Come on, man. I, I built you this cool road. Someone's using it to leave. No, come back. Okay, I'm building another bridge. The weakest bridge known to man to connect up this side just to help traffic a little bit. And it's probably a good idea that not only one access point has access to this side. Just in case the worst happens. Oh no, <laughs> the timer went off. Oh, the worst is gonna happen. Okay, round and round it goes. Where will it land? Nobody knows. I don't think it really matters with this one though, does it? Well, it's a three. That's not too bad. Let's see if it actually matters. I suppose this would probably be worst for a thunderstorm because there's loads of foliage. So I guess I'll just land it in the center of the city and hope that counts as a three. I might have messed up here. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about my actions, maybe I, I acted a bit too hard. Ashley. Okay, yeah, just a gentle thunderstorm. That's fine, right? I don't like the look of this. Oh man, we're having power outages and I don't know what to do about it. Maybe I should install 
I don't know, wind, power turbines when there's a storm, right? That makes sense. I'll get loads of power. I think I may have made a mistake striking in the middle of the city. I think I may have made this closer to 10 than 1. Ah, there's my problem. I was wondering what had disconnected. <laughs> Instead of repairing, I just rebuild. I have just been doing aggressive expansion in the hopes that I can get more taxpayer money and expand the city so it won't be destroyed in one go. I was also trying to build like a dam here that would be powered by the poop. But unfortunately for me, it's too expensive. It, it would have been a nice little bridge that you could bypass it and, and get to see what the city is running on. <laughs> Much like the mayor, it's full of shit. The situation in the city is getting kind of dire, I must say. Yeah, as I split up the city, like in preparation for disaster, it's just giving lower and lower coverage to like the hospitals, the fire stations, the police stations. But at the same time, the city is running out of power, so <laughs> that's what I'm kind of focusing on. There we go. We got more power, so that, that should kind of cover us. And now to aggressively expand with industry. The beaches are just destroyed every time. For some reason, it just happens this way. Maybe it's just my subconscious that just doesn't want people going to the beach. Like, I don't really go to the beach that often. Maybe I don't want others going. The trash situation is bad, but I have put in a few landfills now. I don't know what you want me to do. Like, we have an incinerator. Are you just confusing your surroundings for trash because that's very possible. Yeah, I think I need more incinerators. I don't think they can incinerate enough. What was that? I'm just not gonna look. <laughs> Everything is fine, okay? Trust me. I'm the- oh no, there's another one. All right, fine. I'll look. What the hell was it? Just some random outburst of fire? God, I wish we'd a fire station. People over here are happy about it. Okay, it's kind of up to the other island to support you here. I can't afford to build another one. Oh no, the street next to it is now going on fire too. Well, just think of it as a fire sale. Look at all the cheap property you could buy up, including this. Smoldering pile of rubble. Another seven, okay. <laughs> what is the disaster we're moving on to? Oh, forest fire, great. I guess this is the biggest forest I have and it's in a pretty heavily dense area. <laughs> so yeah, that this is actually probably worst case scenario, but it's the only one that kind of makes sense for a forest fire. A forest fire is raging in the area. Yeah, I know, I see it, I see it. <laughs> oh man, it's spreading pretty fast. But you know what, we're gonna ignore that because we got bigger problems. I'm changing it to every 10 minutes a disaster hits. Is there any way I can stop this from spreading? Could I just like build over it? Does that work? <laughs> Oh, it kind of does. Sorry, folks. This is just uh, maintenance. We were, we were going doing this anyway. It's not for the fire or anything. We just think it's a good idea to build here specifically. Okay, maybe it's not working. I thought it was, but now I don't think it is. Well, anyway, build away over the fire. It's not my problem. A lot of people have left. <laughs> I'm not surprised. The fire they took as a warning of what's to come. Like, what is the actual problem people are having? Education is a big problem. Health is bad. It's not really a lot of fire or crime control. Okay, so everything is a little bit sucky. I get it. Would a bouncing castle cheer you all up? I think it would. Yeah. How much are these? 4,000. That's a lot. Someone's ripping us off. Just gonna go with the bog standard park and just throw some down. Forest fire is raging. Yes, I know. I'm just ignoring it. Leave me alone. And no, the mayor will not abandon his treehouse. There we go. I placed down a few parks. Uh, I don't think it helped with anything really. <laughs> it made some of the people living here a little bit happier. Maybe they're less likely to move out. You know, because if the disaster wasn't their line, I'm sure that um, not having Having enough parks and bouncing castles is their red line and they would move out. I don't know why it always says these people don't have water. It seems like they do to me. I don't get it. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I, I edit that out. That never happened. I, I didn't say that. God, that fire is still going. It is burning down some buildings, but um, again, we're just gonna ignore that for now. The cheery music is playing, so we're just gonna hide all of this under the rug and never speak of it again. Oh no. The coal power plant is on fire. Of course it would go to that. It's just spreading over the entire map slowly but surely. It's not even going to be finished by the time the next one comes in. I'm working on education because I feel like they kind of have to look after themselves at this point. <laughs> There's only so much I can protect them from. Oh, that forest fire is still going. It's going right into the industry area. It never stops. Even all this area they're building on is just blackened from all the fire. <laughs> Come on, gang. You only have four more disasters to 
go and I think I'll group the next two in together because this is just a building collapse which honestly seems pretty tame after what they've gone through the fire is slowly getting put out just by you know the wind <laughs> no one reacted we just let it happen okay so we know what's coming up we got a, a fire funnily enough uh, well it's not funny but there's another fire coming I, I think I should build more fire stations I, I could do one more and put it on this side just so we have a little bit more coverage there that's about all I can do I've covered the rest as much as I can yes the fire stopped excellent oh wait in a few seconds there's gonna be another disaster okay oh man the last two are gonna be really hard to survive depending on the rolls well this is gonna be awful no matter what ah oh, there's the cheery uh, disaster striking alarm going off okay for the collapse what have we got we have another seven and for the fire, we have it too. Okay, so I guess I should make a pretty important building collapse, right? I guess a power plant, like that's gonna, that's gonna really suck to be fair. <laughs> that's pretty terrible. Well, there it is, my coal power plant. <laughs> it's going great, there are employees and everything. This building needs to be searched for survivors by disaster response unit before it can be rebuilt. Why don't I have that already? <laughs> and honestly, even though that was an important building uh my power is just about hanging in there <laughs> and now we gotta launch the fire of course so this is a two i guess like over here like it's still in the town but it's not like the most important section of town i don't even remember what's built here but uh best of luck i suppose okay don't worry the fire trucks are coming they, they might actually be able to sort this there's actually quite a few turning up for once actually geez that's not too bad they did just leave this house burned for some reason their shift ended so they went home yeah, the coal situation was actually worse. The firefighters that I've spammed actually paid off. I still don't know if it was a good idea. I wasted a lot of money on that. <laughs> it's a lot of money, but I think that'll help with the, the garbage. Now I have this garbage bridge. Like, all the bridges are kind of garbage, but, uh, oh yeah, look, the power's becoming an issue. <laughs> As I predicted, <laughs> I really know what I'm doing. Maybe I shouldn't have spent the money on that bridge. <laughs> Not to worry, I got another coal power plant going down. I have no preparation for the next disaster whatsoever. I don't even know Know if we can survive it it's gonna be a tsunami yeah it just says it has no location so it doesn't even matter if i get a one we're just getting a tsunami brought in on us how many more minutes do i have i have five minutes uh, i could buy new land that at least that would minimize the chances of it impacting me like it might go off and hit this random field which would be great there we go i bought it <laughs> now hopefully it won't affect me at all it'll affect the field it'll just get the the field nice and moist for me i'm zoning this area to bait the tsunami into targeting here instead of my main city. <laughs> I'm really concerned for my citizens here. <laughs> They've started to wisen up. I'm actually in the negative population-wise, but money is still hanging in there. And it's not like they're leaving in mass, like it's just under keeping it balanced. I've made them an alternate escape. If they want to escape the city, they can go out this way. I'm so kind. I lost my stash. I dug a hole and hid some canned food and water in case of a disaster. Well, Sophie, you're gonna need it soon, so I get digging. I'm just saving my money, so hopefully when I see the tsunami coming in, I can try to do something to stop it. Oh, but I don't have much time. I have three seconds of saving. All right, that's the time. Okay, well, here it comes. Good luck, everyone. I'll just put it in the middle since apparently it doesn't matter. Okay, brace yourselves, everyone. <laughs> we got one more disaster to make it through, and then you will have a, a blessed existence from then on. Why would you build there? In all fairness. <laughs> Come on, man. Get some common sense. So the tsunami takes some time to appear. I'm not sure how long that is. <laughs> the timer's already ticking for our final disaster, and the, the second last one hasn't even showed up yet. Look at all the people I'm making happy in the meantime, though. I built a police station and a medical center over here, which kind of seems pointless given that I know a tsunami is coming, but also I felt like we'd need it <laughs> once it came, so I don't know if that was a good or bad decision. So it says, depending on the map, it can take a, quite a long time for the tsunami effect to be seen. Okay, good to know. I don't see, like... Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> oh, no, here it comes. Abandoned building. It's like, have you noticed there's an abandoned building? No, there's not. There's many of them. There's abandoned buildings. Okay, is there anything I can do? Anything at all? Um. Oh, my God, why am I panicking so much? Okay, I need to, like, raise the land. Or wait, what's this? Walls and fences? Farm fence. No, I don't think that's going to hold it back. Creating a man-made mountain range over here, but I don't think it's going to stop much. No, I know, I know, the Coast Guard, we don't have one. <laughs> Clearly, like, they didn't realize until 
until it hit land. Oh no, all the poop is gonna float into the city. Oh, this is gonna be much worse than I thought. I thought I was actually getting off lightly there for a second, but no, this is, this is quite bad. My glorious mountain range did nothing. <laughs> I think this side's actually gonna be totally fine, which is funny because I placed it here, but um, the, the main wave actually came over on this side. I guess just because where the ocean is? Good news, everyone. Mid tsunami and we're back in the plus. Never mind. It went down to minus again for people coming in. Oh no, we're in the plus. Oh, we're going down. I think that's just the amount of people dying. Yeah, th there's a lot of water coming in now. Yeah, this is... This is awful. This is much worse than I thought it was going to be when I saw it floating up on our shores. Oh, man. It's really coming down streets now. Oh, God. That's terrifying. That truck is like, nah, I'm going in. <laughs> I got to get home. Okay, I think the water is receding a bit. Yeah, I think it's going back. We might actually be able to recover from this. Like, we're losing a lot of money. People are leaving and dying. But I, I we might be able to recover from this. It all comes down to the meteor and how bad that's going to hit. Oh, this area did get affected more than I thought as well. Why did I install so much beachfront property? <laughs> a tsunami has struck the city. Yeah, I know. You've told me three times. Can someone put on like a dehumidifier or something? There's a lot of water just logged here. I was kind of smart here by accident because I built a lot of the important industry buildings on a hill. <laughs> so they luckily survived. And it didn't destroy any infrastructure, which is kind of surprising. But that's, that's great because it's less cleanup for me. Still a lot of cleanup, mind you, but it's less than it could have been. Don't you smile at me. Your neighbor's died. <laughs> I took him out just for that. We don't want that kind of person in our city. Oh, I can change my my name of the city. I'm changing it to Disasterland. City attractiveness 6%. <laughs> I wonder why. You know, I made fun of that shop that built over here along with his five friends, but he was one of the few that was safe. Oh, here comes the meteor. <laughs> if we get a one, you're getting crushed just so you're aware. Oh no. Oh, I thought it was going to be a 1, but it's a 10. Okay, where is the most important part of the map that I must strike with a meteor? Honestly, it's probably where I put the medical center earlier because I put the police station here just across the road. You got the medical center. It's high density, and it's just very, very central. So I'm just going to land a meteor down on top of that. I just saw someone smiling. I hope it was because of that decision. I never really thought about how much garbage piles up in just two weeks. Yeah, well, at least we'll have a place to put it soon enough. I'm just going to repair the water pipe for that one person, but there's there's no point. I, I gotta wait. Oh, here it comes. And that's so many people wiped out. I just saw the cars go flying. Head to shelter if any is available. Yeah, you hear that, everyone? Just head to shelter, all right? We'll clean it up just like we've cleaned everything else up. And good luck getting to the hospital because it's in that giant hole. <laughs> oh, man, the fire continues to spread. It's continuing to burn down the entire city. Where's the tsunami when you need it? Come on. Okay, I'm gonna build a fire station real quick right there so that it can speed around and hopefully solve this issue. I hope it doesn't go on fire. I don't know why I put it right next to the fire. What was that? Oh no, there's more collapsing. Surely a fire wouldn't dare enter a building full of firefighters right? Yeah, it's avoiding them. Can I like spray paint on grass or anything? Does that work? No, I can just put down a bush. All right, that covers it up. I don't think anyone will notice the damage. Thank you so much for watching. You're automatically a citizen now, so subscribe, like, check out more of my content, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.